does list for some good conditions. Flat as a pancake out here today. Bluebird skies. And I'm just pedaling out at the moment to get into a dive mission. I'm at a spot I've dived before. I found craze here in the past, kingfish. And I'm very excited to jump in the water and see what's around today. I've actually just caught up with some of my stealth kayak mates. It's awesome to see them out here today and they're getting stuck into the kingfish behind me. So, you know, it's all good signs. Hopefully I can have some luck myself when I get in the water. So I'm gonna anchor up in a second, get the rest of the dive gear on and I'll see you guys in the water. Well, welcome back to another dive adventure. After jumping in the water, I was instantly surrounded by buzzing marine life. I had kahawai, trevally and mackerel all swarming around me, which was a great sign to see. And the first port of call was to get some burley. I took a shot at these kahawai, but sadly missed. However, after going back down, I found this goatfish and he wasn't so lucky. A clean shot behind the peck fin secured this goatfish for me. It wasn't a huge fish, but it would be a good start for the burley trail, so I got my knife out and started chumming it up through the water to hopefully bring in some bait, snapper, and even kingfish. After giving the burley some time to settle, I dived down and there were a few juvenile snapper around, but nothing sizable. So I kept moving and I saw these cray feelers poking out in this crap. So I dropped my gun and went back down to have a look with my torch. And what do you know, there's a ton of baby crayfish under this rock. Lots of pack horse crayfish and a few baby reds in the mix. Nothing legal, so I moved on. After heading into the shallows, I spotted a nice snapper playing around in the weeds. So I snuck up behind it and took a shot. I was super stoked with that shot, a clean stone shot to put the snapper out of its misery straight away. And at that point in time this was a new personal best snapper for me, probably around 10 or 12 pounds that I didn't give it away. <laughs> First fish of the day, beautiful snapper. This was a really special fish for me as uh, I'd managed to sneak up behind it without it noticing me and getting a really nice clean shot on it. As most of you watching this video will probably know already, snapper are a super spooky fish species. As soon as they catch onto you, they generally bolt. So to get that close and to get that nice shot really meant a lot to me. Anyway, back to the mission. I'm back down there looking for more burley and a nice school of parori uh, came swimming through. So I lined up a nice fat one, pulled it up to the surface and started a new burley trail. I found on my recent dive missions that using burley has been a really effective way to bring in snapper. I've noticed that they tend to let their guard down a little bit more when there's burley floating through the water. Perhaps it's because they're distracted. And this is a prime example of it. This snapper was uh, side on to me, probably saw me approaching, yet didn't spook, and I managed to get a nice shot into the side of the snapper. After bringing it up to the surface, I give this fish the icky to put it out of its misery. And uh, that's another fish for the bag. So onto the float line it goes. And I noticed there were a few other nice fish hanging around on the burley, so I went straight back down to see if I could pluck off another one. After getting back down there, there was plenty of fish life on the burley and a nice snapper made itself visible. So once again, pretty similar shot to that last one. Nice side on shot through the snapper and that secured the third fish for the day. Well, first dive has been pretty successful. I've got three lovely snapper in the back there and I think the biggest one might be a new personal best for me. I actually managed to get the first one just on the snoop. Um, I was just in the shallows looking for cray rocks and I saw this guy playing around in the weeds, dive down on top of him. Surprisingly, he didn't see me. I got a nice shot through the head. And afterwards, I burlied up a bit to my right here and um, that brought in heaps of snapper and I got two pretty quickly, one after the other. Just uh, pecking away at the uh, drummer that I'd burlied up, or the um, purore that I'd burlied up, and they barely even noticed me coming in. So we're off to a good start. 
I want to get a kingfish today if possible, so I'm going to try and push out a bit wider. Uh, some of my mates who are out here on kayaks today have been catching kingfish just behind me here, so hopefully if we have any luck we'll be able to find some ourselves, but let's uh, move out and see what we can see. While continuing the hunt for snapper and kingfish, I always had in the back of my mind the possibility of finding crayfish among the boulders and cracks in this area. So after checking this crack here, it proved to hold a couple of nice pack horse crayfish. I lined up the bigger of the two and went for the grab, and managed to get a good hold on its horns, and after a brief fight, I pulled out the first crayfish for the day, which was a nice pack horse cray. As per usual, I gave this packy the quick measure to make sure it was legal, which it well and truly was. And then onto the cray noose it went. I find these nooses are really helpful when you're diving away from your boat or kayak and you want to store a few crayfish while still looking for fish. After moving out to where my mates had been catching these kingfish, a couple of trevally emerged from the blue and I plugged the bigger of the two and got a nice holding shot behind the peck fin. Originally the plan was to keep this trevally as sashimi, however you'll see later in the video that plan changes. While trying to secure myself some more burly, I had just shot this drummer when a school of about six nice kingfish came through. You can see them schooled up pretty low in the water column and it seems they were interested to know what the commotion was. I quickly reloaded my gun and I ended up taking the drummer off the end of the spear and dropping it down through the water column. The kingfish had started to make an exit and I was hoping that the uh, fish falling through the water might bring them back in. However, unfortunately that was not the case. I went down and started grunting away but could not manage to bring these kingfish back in so I was pretty devastated. While the drummer didn't bring any kingfish back in, it definitely brought a nice snapper in. You might be able to make it out in this shot here but it's swimming towards the edge of this weed where the drummer has landed. I start lining it up with my gun in the hope that I might be able to swim down on top of it and take a shot. However, as I approached, the snapper did not hang around and once it caught on to me, it made tracks and got the hell out of there. I sat on the surface for a few minutes in the hope that the snapper would come back to the drummer and to my surprise, it did. It's quite hard to see in this video, but that long dark shape just on the edge of the weed here is a really nice snapper. Unfortunately it catches on to me again and I lose another chance to take a shot at this fish. And this is about when the plan for the trevally changed. Instead of keeping it for sashimi, I thought I'd have a last ditch attempt at bringing that snapper back. So I burlied it up from the surface and just let the big chunks of trevally drift down through the water column. And sure enough, Mr. Snapper comes back for another look. And it's much easier to pick him out in this video. You can see him taking a nice big bit of trevally there. At this point I was fairly confident that the snapper was pretty distracted with the feeding frenzy going on around it. So I started to line it up with my gun once again. I knew I was going to have to approach this one really carefully so that I didn't spook the snapper for a third time. I was waiting to get right over top of the snapper so it didn't see me diving down on top of it. So once it started coming my way, I made my approach, however it seemed to pick up on me, but I waited and waited to get a nice side on shot, but that shot never turned up, so when the snapper bolted, I took a long shot and managed to nail it. This shot was far from perfect, the uh, shaft ended up entering the fish somewhere near its tail and exited through the stomach cavity. So I knew I was working with a pretty dusty shot and I had to give the snapper a lot of leeway so that that shaft didn't tear out. While I was confident the shaft had gone all the way through, when it's uh, exiting through the stomach cavity, you just never know if the shaft's going to hold in there or not. So when the snapper started to take off, I let it do its thing, I gave it lots of leeway. I was in relatively deep water so it wasn't going to get me on the reef anytime soon. This ended up just being a real game of patience and letting the fish run when it needed to run and when it started to ease off, pulling it back in.
this point in the fight the fish had finally given up it was a really tense battle with me super worried about that shaft pulling out at any moment however it didn't and I managed to get this fish up to the surface and went straight in for a bear hug. The fish gave one last big kick to try and escape but I managed to get my hands in its gills, checked out the gnarly exit wound and just admired this amazing fish which I just managed to get on the gun and I was over the moon about. Well I'm out of the water from my second dive, uh, didn't get a kingfish though, I saw a school of about six of them, some really nice ones down there, uh, they just didn't hang around once they saw me, however it's all good because I managed to improve my snapper personal best once again today and I've landed this absolute beautiful snapper, it's a really nice sized one and it's going to make some epic smoked fish, probably a snapper curry in there as well and I also managed to finally get onto one of these guys nice uh, pack horse crayfish and um, there's another one down there but didn't manage to get that one as well but can't complain we've got four snapper in the bag now and a beautiful crayfish so we're going home with a solid feed and that's going to wrap things up for today's mission hopefully you guys have enjoyed this one there's been an epic day out on the water it was probably my most productive day spearfishing for snapper ever so really stoked with how this mission's turned out I'm going to do the trek back to the beach now and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Cheers.